In today's video, I'll show you how to rehab your ankle back to good. Make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss any of these exercises. It's going to save you a lot of time and money. Let's get to it. Next exercise, you can use a weight or a ball, any device, you kind of just drop it down, but go completely slow, don't force it, don't drop it, every moment matters, everything's with a purpose, slow as possible, slow, get down, drop it, come back up, slowly be in control of every movement, and then you're going to go back down and you're going to do a couple repetitions of this, but look, I'm not just going there right away. I'm going to work myself inch by inch down there. And this is going to activate all the stabilizers in your ankle. Pick it up, come back, completely with control all the way. Do a couple repetitions of that with both feet. Make sure you don't skip steps. I see a lot of people trying to go too fast. You're not going to work yourself if you're going like this. Every movement has to be accounted for so your ankle can get the full workout. Good. This workout I would suggest get a lacrosse ball, it's very dense, and just roll your feet out like one minute on there. It works better if you have a hard surface, but I'm just demonstrating to you what you do. You want to go all the way around on your foot, on the heel, on the middle, on the top. Do it for one minute and then switch to the other foot. This is going to help open up your foot. Kind of relax all those muscles in there. And you'll feel good afterwards. Of course you can throw anything you have, I'm just using keys as an example, since everyone has it right now, and then you switch to your other foot, throw it around 10-15 times, work on your balance. Now we're going to do some stretches with the resistance bands. You can pick this up from any sports store, Dick Sports, uh, sport, sport Authority. And you're going to do 10, 15 repetitions inside with your ankle. You can use anything, a table, a couch, to um, get some more resistance on there. So after you do one way, you're going to put it in the middle. Kind of like you're driving a car. And now you're going to just push down on the pedal. You're going to do 10, 15 of these. You want to make sure you work every direction of your ankle. So we just did one direction there. Now we're doing it different. After we do that, the last direction will be over here. And now you will go in inward. You don't need the couch, it's not optional, it's just if you want more resistance. You can do it on the same way. For example, if you want to go outside, you can put both your feet here, hold this over here, and now you work outside with your ankle. These resistance bands aren't expensive, they're like 10 to 15 dollars. So it's worth you investing in one. And then, of course, then you go to the next foot, you do the same thing. 
people over here if you want it over there. I just like to use a different object to get more uh, more leverage. Sometimes I feel like I don't get it strong enough if I do it like this. All right. The next exercise we'll do in the bathtub where there's this little slant at the end. I want you to put your feet up there so it's elevated at an angle it's like 60 degrees and just lean forward and that's going to stretch out your ankle for you. So hold that for like 20 seconds and do the other foot. It helps if you lean forward so I like to put my weight forward and then my ankle do the stretch. This is going to help you out a lot. And if you don't have this in your bathtub you can just find uh, somewhere else where there's an angle like a hill or something. But this is a really good stretch to get deep in there. Ankle sprains are one of the most common injuries that athletes get today. The wear and tear on our bodies is greater than ever as sports get more and more competitive and athletes become stronger and faster. And it can be a nightmare if you re-injure the same ankle over and over again. So it's crucial that you don't rush yourself back to competition. Give yourself two or three weeks depending on the severity of your injury. And have a doctor, have a physical therapist look at it. I suggest everyone go through that process at least once. If this is your second or third or however many ankle injury, then you can follow these steps and be guaranteed that they will help you get back to your path and get back to your sport. Make sure when you come back to your sport, you first do non-contact practices. So you're just working with a ball or object, whatever you're doing. Do that for about a week, get into the rhythm, and then go back to your contact sports. Now if you have a tournament or something very important, and you're injured and you're not sure if you should do you should do it I would suggest if it's very very important you can get your ankle taped up by a pro and then you can compete but I would hope it's like the final or the semi-final it's absolutely vital that you're there otherwise it's better you just skip that and rehab yourself do the things necessary to get back to full strength because you do not want to have this injury nag you for years and years like it's happened to many people even me I've had it, this injury problem go many 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 times until I learned all the processes that I need to strengthen my ankle and get it back to, to fully recovered. And if you have enough money, there's a lot of options you can do out there. There's stem cells, you can do chirotherapy, but for the average person, just get a lacrosse ball, get the resistance bands, uh, these basic things like the bathtub or the keys, the tennis ball, these things are going to help you recover. I've done it myself, I've had my students, my clients work with them and it's helped them and I hope it will help you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I will reply to every one of them. I want you guys to get back to 100% uh, back and go back out there because life is definitely not meant to be inside the house. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up if it's helped you. Share with your friends and family if they've had this concern. And I'll see you next video.